Okay, tonight I want to do a quick head-to-head -head comparison. Milwaukee Gen 4 model number 2953-20 versus the 24 volt flex quick eject. This is their top of the line, 2,500 inch pounds versus 2,000 inch pounds. Both have a five amp battery. This is 18 volt, that's 24 volt. They both have three speeds. Milwaukee has one self tapper mode. Flex has two self tapper modes. Milwaukee, you get tri-beam LEDs. Flex, you only get the single light. What I noticed right away with Milwaukee, immediate trigger response. Flex, not so much, but got good trigger control and you can feel it's got great power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive 10 of these two and a half inch T25 screws into this wood, then we're gonna switch tools and repeat. Fully charged battery. Fully charged too. Drop one bar. All right, so you ready? Yes, sir. Make sure you're on forward. Yep. Go. I'm not on forward. You can tell this has power. I can feel it. It's not super warm. Neither is this one. That one's warm? No, not really. Okay. This one is a little warm back here. Last time we did this, this one got a little bit warm in the back. So I guess they're kind of trading off. This one does seem to put out a little more air, which should help keep it cooler. Uh, so let's switch. And we'll do these other 10. Are you ready? Ready? Go. wasn't necessarily going for speed I'm just kind of going for trying to get a feel for which one's more comfortable to use what this one think? this one the handle feels better that one the uh, the rubber yeah right here it, it kind of sits on my finger so you're you saying you say the same thing I'm saying that little groove right there between the rubber and the plastic with the weight of this 5 amp battery makes it kind of sit a little heavy on your knuckle right here it's got a little bit better balance maybe than this one but it's heavier the grip is nice but that yeah it definitely sits very aggressive effort. grip less aggressive a little bit thinner handle mm -hmm. something to think about if you're considering one of these now if you're like a lot of people and you buy extra batteries anyway consider getting the 3.5 amp stack lithium charge is supposed to last longer more dependable battery and it's about the same weight as a 2.5 amp standard lithium battery 
it'll make this much more comfortable. This is just lighter and smaller all around. They seem they like to have a, about the same power and speed. This one is rated 2,500 inch pounds, 2,000 inch pounds. Uh, so, like I said in my other video, there's pros and cons to both. I don't, I don't know if you can make a bad choice. They both seem great. They're both fun. Uh, this one has less of a curve underneath the trigger, which kind of at first felt awkward. But the more I use it, the more I get used to it. Now I'm going to be running the head to head between these two accompanying drills. But I'm also going to throw in the DeWalt DCD 999. I do not have a DeWalt impact driver besides my 787. I'm not even going to try to compete because it's only 1500 inch pounds and there's no way. I'm only going to be comparing drills and I can tell you right now, as far as the drills go, that DeWalt is in between flex being the heaviest, DeWalt second heaviest, Milwaukee lightest, but the DeWalt has really good ergonomics. But you're gonna see that 999 has a pretty massive battery. It's a six amp flex volt battery and it's, it's big and it's heavy. Also has a bigger body, seems to put out more air I don't know if it's going to keep it cooler. Uh, time will tell. Hopefully, I can do that drill bit test tomorrow between the three drills. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, and leave comments below.